Chapter 7 Rocks and Rock Types In the previous standards, we studied the different spheres of the earth. In this chapter, we shall collect more information about the lithosphere. Rock The naturally formed mixture of minerals found over the surface of the earth and to the depth of some kilometers below it is called a rock. The characteristics of a rock depend on the minerals it contains and the processes through which these minerals get amalgamated. In most of the rocks, the proportion of silica, aluminium, magnesium and ferrous minerals is high. Types of Rocks According to their formation, three types of rocks are identified. Igneous rocks The lava that is ejected onto the earth's surface and the magma below the surface get solidified. Rocks formed through this process are called igneous rocks. As these rocks are formed out of the material that comes from the interior of the earth, they are also known as primary rocks. There are two types of igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks. During volcanic eruptions, sometimes the magma gets solidified below the earth's surface. The rocks formed at such locations below the surface are called intrusive igneous rocks. For example, granite and gabbro. In this process, as the cooling of magma takes place slowly, the process of crystallization also proceeds at a slow pace. As a result, the crystals in these rocks are larger and well formed. Extrusive Igneous Rocks In this process, the lava gets solidified after spreading over the earth's surface. The rocks formed through this process are called extrusive igneous rocks. For example, the basalt rock of Maharashtra Plateau. The lava on the surface cools rapidly. Hence, the process of crystallization is also quite fast. As a result, the crystals in these rocks are tiny and they are not very well formed. Sedimentary rocks Rocks exposed on the surface are eroded by agents like wind, river, glacier, etc. The sediments thus produced are transported and get settled in low-lying areas. The lower layers of sediments deposited are subjected to tremendous pressure by the upper layers and sedimentary rocks are formed. While the layers of sediments are getting deposited, the remains of dead animals or plants also get buried in these layers. Therefore, we find fossils in sedimentary rocks. Different layers of the sediment can be easily seen in these rocks. Examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone, limestone, shale, corals, etc. Metamorphic rocks Due to the effect of hot lava, as well as due to the pressure caused by earth movements, the crystals in the original rocks, igneous or sedimentary, get crystallized again. This process leads to the formation of metamorphic rocks, which have an altogether different composition and characteristics. The shape and size of the crystals and the color of rock changes. As these rocks are produced through the process of recrystallization, metamorphic rocks do not contain fossils. Some metamorphic rocks formed out of igneous and sedimentary rocks are given in the table above. Type of rock Igneous Original rock Granite Metamorphic rock Meta-igneous Gneiss Type of rock igneous, original rock basalt, metamorphic rock hornblende, seist. Type of rock igneous, 
original rock gabbro metamorphic rock serpentine type of rock sedimentary original rock limestone metamorphic rock meta sedimentary marble type of rock sedimentary original rock coal metamorphic rock graphite diamond type of rock sedimentary original rock sandstone metamorphic rock quartzite type of rock sedimentary original rock shale metamorphic rock schist slate rock cycle sedimentary rocks are formed through the processes of erosion out of the rocks exposed on the surface of the earth from the igneous and sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks are formed all these three types of rock move into the mantle in the process of plate consumption they come to the surface again in the form of primary igneous rocks this cycle goes on continuously it is called rock cycle the portion from the earth surface up to the depth of about 100 kilometers is called the lithosphere of this we see only the surface part a variety of landforms like mountains plains and plateaus are seen on the surface these landforms are produced by various processes the development of landforms depends on these processes and the properties of rocks hence in the study of lithosphere the processes and properties of rocks assume a lot of importance